Hey everybody, this is Lord Midas and welcome to my tutorial series on Battle Brothers modding. If you wanted to make your own Battle Brothers mod but didn't know how to do that, this is the perfect tutorial series for you because I'm going to guide you from being a complete novice with no programming experience at all. And from there, I'm going to take you to a place where you're going to be comfortable making your own Battle Brothers mods, sharing your mods with other people, and basically improving the experience of everybody in the community. For those of you who don't know me, I am one of the developers on the Battle Brothers Legends mod team. And if you don't know about the Battle Brothers Legends mod, <laughs> well, you really need to know about this mod because it is um, the biggest mod for Battle Brothers. It adds so much content to the game that I wouldn't need an entire episode just going through all the content right? that it adds. It adds uh, new perks, new enemies, new origins, new events, um, an entirely new camping system, which you can see right here. Um, it adds um, an entirely new dynamic economy system. And it, it just adds so much more content. It adds a dynamic, it's, it adds a dynamic perk system. Um, yeah, it, it's just so good, right? Uh, you need to check out this mod. I am also the lead developer on the Legends Perk Trees Rework mod, which is a sub mod for Legends, but it's really one of the biggest, uh, or probably the biggest overhaul mod for Legends that's out there. It adds more than 100 new perks to the game. Uh, it also overhauls many of the Legends mechanics, also improves on some base game mechanics. Um, and just, you know, um, it's, it's a very well done mod. You should also check that out if you're playing with Legends. Um, other than that, I am also an avid Battle Brothers player. So I, um, in the past, I did some playthroughs of Battle Brothers on my YouTube channel here. Uh, but due to real life, you know, busyness, I had to give that up. Uh, but I may come back to that at some point in, my, uh, in the future. Uh, I do stream sometimes. Uh, so I will put a link down to my Twitch channel um, um, in the description of this video. So you can check that out. Uh, I may plan on also streaming some modding tutorials on Twitch. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments down below and we can set up a schedule for that. Uh, because I think that will be really cool because then you can like ask questions in real time and see me actually doing some modding, which may be really good because um, knowing, you know, the theory about how to mod is one thing, but learning some best practices about how to do real modding, mod modding is that's going to be really helpful as well. So let me know if you're interested in that and we can you know, think about that. All right, so um, let's have a look at what this tutorial series is basically going to be about. So I've prepared a sort of um, plan for this. So this is not like set in stone. Um, I have this plan as a general outline or as a general guideline in terms of where this series is going to go. But depending on what kind of feedback I get from you guys in the feed uh, in the comments down below, we may add you know more things in there, and the actual list of episodes may end up looking slightly different than what it is right now. But this is like the general idea about uh, this series. So currently we are right here. So if you're watching this video, you are at basically this point. In the next video, I will show you how to set up everything in your computer so that you're all set for actually, you know, following along with the tutorial series. Basically, download the proper text editor, set up syntax highlighting. Uh, I'll explain to you what language is used in the scripting. Uh, I'll show you the folder structure of uh, mods and how the game is, you know, how the game uses its script files and so on. I will also show you how to uh, decrypt vanilla game files so you can actually look at the vanilla code. Uh, more on that a bit later. Um, after that, we're going to start off with programming fundamentals. Now, we're going to do a few episodes on this. Um, and I understand that if you already have an uh, experience in programming or, or background in programming, you may not want to watch these um, episodes or, you know, they may, not, may, they may not be that interesting for you. But for those of you who are completely new to programming, this is going to be really, really good because I'm going to guide you through everything you need to know to get really comfortable with the programming language that's used in Battle Brothers. And not only that, um, this is basically laying down the foundation because without all of this knowledge, you're not going to be able to do modding at all because you need to be comfortable. You need to know how the programming language actually works um, in order to actually <laughs> you know, work with the programming language. But this is really simple stuff. So uh, trust me, 
even if you have no background in programming at all, uh, once we're through with these few episodes, you're going to be really comfortable with um, uh, programming in Battle Brothers. All right, um, just one point I want to throw out there. Um, even if you have uh, prior you know, experience in programming, you may still want to watch uh, or at least skim through these videos because um, we're going to be doing these videos specifically from the perspective of Squirrel, which is the scripting language used in Battle Brothers. So um, you may, you know, uh, get to know the syntax or, you know, some minor details about the language which are important, um, which you may not know because if you have experience in other programming languages, of course, the syntax is not always the same. All right, so once we have those foundations set, then we're going to actually get to the meat of this series, which is actually making mods for Battle Brothers. And we're going to start off with fundamental concepts. So I'm going to guide you through um, basically the vanilla code first. So I'm going to show you, okay, what this file is doing, what this file is doing, a general outline so that you know the playing ground that you're going to enter, where are the goalposts, right, where are the lines and so on, and what, what everything does, so you know the environment, so to speak. Uh, before you jump into it. Um, and then from episode two here, you're going to make your first mod. And this is going to be a very simple mod because we're going to start off with something very simple and straightforward. Uh, and we're going to do this by changing some values here and there in the vanilla files uh, to create something that we want to create or change something that we want to change. Uh, and then we overwrite those vanilla files. Um, but honestly, that's just for learning, okay? When you're actually making your mod, you don't want to overwrite vanilla files because that is really bad for compatibility between mods. You can imagine if two mods are trying to overwrite the same vanilla file, then yeah, uh, only one of those mods is going to work. <laughs> so um, from episode three, I'm going to show you a method where you can avoid this kind of a problem and where you can mod in a compatible way with other mods. And this is really the way that you should use to mod your, uh, make your Battle Brothers mods. Uh, and this is called hooks, uh, more on that a bit later. Um, so once we're through with that, we're gonna finish basically changing existing stuff and we're gonna enter the realm of creating new stuff. So we're gonna start off with creating new status effects, new skills, new perks. I'm gonna show you how to create new sprites and brushes. Uh, and if you're playing with Legends, of course, then you know that in Legends we have specific perk groups. For example, we have the Sword perk group, we have the Spear perk group, and so on. So I'm going to show you how to make those perk groups, how to make your own character background types. Like, for example, you have the Retired Soldier, Day Tailor, Farmer, and so on. You can make um, your own background types. And from there on, we can um, move on to creating a new origin, um, creating new events, creating new items, creating new enemy types, and of course, if you think that I've missed something in there and there's something that you want to do, which we haven't already listed here, you can put it in the comments down below or also in future episodes, just let me know in the comments. And we will definitely put more stuff in there as well. All right. Okay. So I think that's uh, pretty much it for this episode. But before I go off, I have two more points um, to talk about. The first one is um, a really good resource that you can use for help when you're modding Battle Brothers. And this is the resource that I've used the most. It's a really, really helpful resource. And it's a really interactive resource. You know, it's not a website. It's not a book. It's actually a Discord channel. If you go onto the Legends Discord server, and if you're not there, if you don't know how to get there, just go to the Nexus page of the Legends mod. And down here, you will see the link to their Discord server. Just click on that, you will get invited to the Discord server. Once you're into the Discord server, there's a channel called Modding Help. Just go to that channel. It's really, really helpful. I mean, the community in this Discord server is just so good, all right? You can show your code. You can, like, ask questions. You can say, okay, what am I doing wrong here? Or maybe you want to say, hey, guys, I want to make this and this and this. How would I do that? There are people out there who will really, really help you. And when I started, when I started out with uh, Battle Builders modding, that's the resource that I used. And really, people there helped me so much and helped me get to the point where I am right now. Highly recommend it. Definitely check it out. And finally, the last point that I want to talk about is what I talked about earlier, uh, the hooks system. So I want to talk, um, basically give a shout out to Adam here. 
For those of you who don't know him, <clears throat> um, he is basically the guy who made uh, Battle Brothers modding possible. You know that the uh, original game was not designed by the developers to be moddable. Um, so the files were encrypted, right? And this guy here, he's a genius. He uh, managed to decrypt those files. He uh, not only managed to do that, but he was able to make a kit, so to speak, right? Uh, let's call it the mod kit, which you can use to decrypt files. Uh, it, it's just so good, right? Not only that, he made a system, which is called the modding scripts hook system, uh, which is right here. Um, you see here, he's using a hook new object hook. Um, this hook system allows different mods to basically access particular parts of the vanilla code and just modify that particular part instead of overriding entire vanilla files. And this greatly enhances intercompatibility between mods. So I just wanted, wanted to give a shout out here. Of course, we will be using his mod kit uh, from the next video onwards. I will show you, how you, show you how to use it, how to decrypt vanilla files, and eventually I'll show you how to use hooks as well. So um, that's that. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you're really excited and interested. And if you are, please give a thumbs up to this video. Put your comment down below in this, uh, you know, in the comments of this video because that really helps me, um, you know, gauge how much interest there is in the video and helps me keep motivated, um, stay motivated to make more videos. Also, um, when we have more like interaction on the video, like more likes and comments. It helps YouTube understand that this is a you know video that is show that it should show to other people. So it helps the channel as well. So uh, with that uh, being said, thank you very much everybody for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.